Pierce, and she went to town. So as you guys can tell, it is super hot here today in New York. I mean, so hot. I was going to put on my makeup on for y'all, but let me tell y'all, it's too hot for all that beat, honey. I don't mind beating now. I don't mind paint, you know, painting, you know. But I didn't feel like kicking up my face today. So thank you guys so much for hopping on my success show. I'm so happy to have you. I hope you guys are having an amazing Saturday. It wasn't just me, but I woke up this morning thinking today was Sunday. It was like so weird. I went out and I'm like, okay, is today Sunday? Am I supposed to be going to church today? It was really weird. Like I've been sort of a day ahead every single day this week. Has it been the same thing for you guys? Maybe it's just me. But anywho. Thank you everyone for hopping on. If you're watching live right now, please type in hashtag live so I can shout you out. If you're watching this via replay, please type in hashtag replay. Yes, so I can give you a cute little comment and awesome gift. All right, so if this is your very, very first time watching me, my name is Letitia Campbell and I am the founder and creator of the Sales Success Academy, head coach of the Sexy Brand Building Formula Program. We help our clients create a sexy brand and turn it into a profit-making machine through our PR and the PR media done-for-you services. So here's what I want to talk about today. Today is August 3rd, okay? And I'm looking on my calendar and I'm just like, oh my God, August 11th will make two years that since I worked a nine to five. Woo, woo, two years. Like, that's insane. The reason why, I, hey, Therese, hey, Latasha. The reason why I'm just beyond excited because I've seen a lot of people who had left my, my previous employer and they ended up coming back like after two months, after six months. Most of them didn't come, came back like, you know, didn't last a year. They just came right back before the year is up. And um, I've been, be, I've been a full-time entrepreneur for the past two years and it's been so exciting and so that brought me to this topic because early this morning I went live on this page and I talked to you guys about just you know getting clear right and I'm going to I'm going I'm going to go a little bit more deeper today if you guys don't mind uh by getting clear because I think that's so important I think clarity is non-existent in this industry for most coaches consultants and service providers and because we get so so hyped up into the websites and the funnels and the graphics and, and all this stuff, but none of that means anything if you're not clear, right? Do you guys agree? Type in one if you agree with what I'm saying, right? If you're not clear about what your message is, who you're serving, who you're talking to, what your business is all about, if you're just not clear, you know, you're not going to get the, the, the exposure or make the, get, we have a successful business. I mean, I can always even tell, even when you guys make landing pages or sales pages or websites, you can pay $5,000 all the way up to $15,000 for an awesome five-page website, awesome funnels. But even when you're looking at some people's stuff or their content on there, their actual copy, it's not, it's no clarity. It's just like money, 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 upsell, OTO is like, it's all over the place. And I just, you know, started to readjust how many of my funnels are looking and really getting to putting a lot more text so people can really get an idea of my story, my message, my passion, and why is it that I do what I do. So guys, if you pass this broadcast on, uh, get some of your friends in here so we can all engage and be a part of this conversation. If any of you guys have any questions, hey, Elaine, what's up, sis? If any of you ladies have any questions, please comment below. I'm here to help. Uh, one of the things that I'm amazing at is I'm a sales strategist, right? So I want you guys to do me a favor. Type right here. What are you amazing at? Even if you don't feel it's all that in a bag of chips and you're not 100% certain if you're amazing at that, you know, put it right here. So that way you can just put it out there to the universe and we can chat and talk about it. You know, we're going we're gonna to be on for a little while tonight. Uh, so I want to make sure that I am giving you guys my all and my everything. So let's jump right into this, lady. So I'm going to tell you guys seven things that has helped me leave my nine to five back in August 11th of 2017 was my last day as a employee, okay? I remember that day very, very clear, all right? I remember I was, what, seven months pregnant. Yeah, I was seven months pregnant. Uh, and I remember the day, it was around this time of 2017, when actually probably like maybe a little bit week earlier, 
uh, where I, um, I was pondering on when was the right time to tell my boss that I no longer want to work here anymore. So I wanted to do the right thing because I do believe in karma. And I do believe that if you are putting out positivity, positivity will come back to both. So even though I knew that I would never, ever work for anybody else again, uh, I didn't want to just, you know, say, hey, deuces like most people do. Um, I just wanted to do it the right way just for karma purposes. And I wanted to leave on a great note. Uh, I, I did love my job and it's not like I hated it. You know what I'm saying? And everyone loves me, but it was, I just want to be home with my four kids. And I had this business that was growing and I knew that, that my, my job was getting in the way of me growing it and expanding it the way I wanted to. Right. So, um, I remember typing up my two weeks notice and I had a coworker of mine read it. She read it and she was like, change this, change that. So I'm typing it up and it was on a Monday and I waited to the end of the day. I did that on purpose uh, because I didn't want any type of um, feelings to come up uh, from my boss during the day. So I waited and it was like around maybe like 4.50 ish, 10 minutes before I had to clock out and I went into her office, big old belly and all, you know, uh, pregnant with my fourth child and, um, I, you know, my little silly behind, I put the... I had folded up the notice real nice, you know, I put it in an envelope. My, mind you, her office was literally two steps away from mine, but I want to be informal, right? So I went into her office and I gave her the letter and I said, you know, um, I, can I, first I said, can I talk to you? And she said, yeah, sure. I gave her the letter. I said, you know, this is my two weeks notice. And she was like, you shitting me, right? <laughs> She was like, you, you are shitting me. She thought that I was kidding. She thought that I was doing play play, you know, it's the end of the day. And she thought it was just like a big old humongous joke because nobody in the history of quitting a job or giving a two weeks notice gives it when they are seven months pregnant. During that time, most moms, and I've done it three times before, starts to get their maternity leaves packets ready, you know, those big old packets they give you, the HR office gives you, and they're like, you got to fill this out, you know, before this deadline, so that way you get your, your maternity leave benefits and all this other stuff, but I was like, uh, no, I'm not, I'm not joking, like, this is, this is my notice. And, you know, I, I was honest with her. I said, you know, flat out, I have a very successful business that, I'm, that I've been building now for the past six, seven years. And I want, I want to be home with my kids. And, blah, 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 blah. and, you know, she was definitely silent, you know, which was the expected reaction that I thought she would have. Nobody, let me tell you guys something. When you leave a job, don't think that people are going to be like, yay! You know what I'm saying? This is a lot of it's, it's it's almost like sometimes it hits people like a ton of bricks, and you just have to let them go through the process. So I gave my notice to my boss, and my boss above her, like I had three different bosses. Can y'all believe that? It was a lot of what they call uh, uh, captains, and I don't know how to call it, a lot of chiefs uh, that was that I worked for. And my main director, he didn't talk to me for a whole week. He didn't talk to me, y'all. He shaded me. He would walk into the office, walk right by my office, and he wouldn't say anything to me for the whole week. And I was getting so mad at him. And God said, Letitia, do not say anything. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Ruth. Hey, John. God was like, Letitia, don't say nothing. Don't get upset. Because, you know, I'm a New Yorker, y'all. You're like, let me tell y'all something. One thing you don't do to us, you don't walk by us and you, you, you looking at me, I'm looking at you and you walk by, you don't say nothing. And we're supposed to be coworkers. You, you know, you're supposed to be my boss. So you don't say anything. That is like total disrespect. You know what I'm saying? Like you get walked up on, like basically that's what I'm trying to say. Without giving y'all too much details. But anywho, God was like, Tisha, calm down. Ooh, ooh, pump the brakes. Don't take it back. Don't take it back. So I was like, I let it happen for a week. And um, my last day, which was August 11th, um, he, he comes into my office and he said, Letitia, can we talk? No, I think it was two days before my last day. So I was like, cool, let's talk. Let's have a conversation. I wasn't upset. I'm like, it was my last couple of days. Like I, I literally said, you know what, whatever, I'm going to leave everything here, meaning leave everything at the job. I'm not going to have my last day and have it, all this drama be carried over into my brand new life. Right. So he brought me into the office and he's like, Letitia, I'm sorry. 
he came out and just he took his he always wore this hat in, in, in the office so he never takes his hat off so he takes his hat off and he's like rubbing through his hair and, you know he's he's uh he's european so he has an accent so he was like i'm so sorry how i've been treating you i, I um when you when i heard that you gave hey charlene he said when he heard about me giving that two weeks my two weeks notice he was was really sad and that whole conversation was him trying to get me to stay at the job but my decision was already made one thing about me i am a true capricorn and when we make a decision we make a decision it's no getting us talking us out of it it's no hey hola Charlene. it's no talking us out of it it's no reasoning with us hey mary lee once we oh those of y'all on the watch party say woo woo hey watch party i'll see y'all i see y'all i see y'all yes uh it's no getting us out of the, out of our decision making so i was just my, my deal was done so what i want to talk to you guys about this evening in particular is a lot of people have been asking me because this is that my anniversary of my two-year anniversary of me leaving my nine to five is coming up a lot of people have been asking me well what what did you do like how did you get to that point where you finally said i'm ready to do my business 100 percent of the time that is scary for some of us like be honest guys those of you who are watching live or on the replay tell me right down here is leaving your job right now the most scariest feeling that you can ever go through this or scariest process that you can ever go through right now because you're so committed to that paycheck you're so committed to getting up and going to work and that's fine i'm not bashing that my life is my life everyone else's life is everyone else's life trust and believe since i left my job dozens and dozens of other women have i've helped also leave their job one of my clients in particular lita smith just left her job two weeks ago and i have some clients or some people that i know that say hey I'm good right now, and when it's time, when it's my time, it's my time. It's all good. But to make that decision is a emotional process of super excited that you discovered that you have this new business and it's successful, it's making money, and then you go from to self doubt. This this is the process I went through. The self doubt, like, oh my God, well, if I leave this job, can I still take care of my for kids, you know, would I be able to still support them to now the third process for me was educating myself on different health plans, right? How much money do I need to save, like to just to be a cushion for me while my business is still developing and being the main source of income. And then it goes from the, the part where now you get that tribal negativity, meaning that the people around you is always the ones that's most closest to you. It could be your husband, it could be your boyfriend, it could be your wife, it could be it could be your coworkers. It could be your church folk. It could be whoever that's going to try to talk you out of the process, you know? So it's all that happened. And then the last stage for me was, wow, I'm ready. I'm ready. And when I was so ready that when people saw the confidence on my face, they didn't question me leaving. So that's what it's all about. So I'm going to share with you guys seven things that has absolutely helped me leave my nine to five. Uh, let me go over here to the comments and see what you guys are saying. Uh, we got Charlene over here on the watch party. She said, I remember when you were working your nine to five and doing your Facebook lives during your lunch hour. Absolutely. Because let me tell you guys something, you know, I went definitely full throttle on my business back in 2016. It was November of, two, no, I'm sorry. It was, it was September of 2016 when I first launched my very first course. And um, and Charlene's been following me ever since then. Love you, sis. I have some serious loyal followers. I was going live before Facebook Live ever existed. I was going live before Instagram Live ever existed. I was going live on Periscope, Google Hangout. Like I am an OG of live streaming. All these other little girls y'all be following out here talking about they know how to teach you live streaming. Boo boo. I was out there hitting them live stream streets when there was trolls attacking us. Okay. You be doing a live and a troll be coming in, calling you fat, calling you a nigga, calling you all kind of stuff. Let me tell you, okay, okay, that's that's that that was me. That was me. Okay, so yeah, Charlene saw it all. I used to go live three, four times a day. That's why I don't, I don't want to, I don't believe this BS. Some of y'all be throwing out there talking about y'all ain't got time to work your business. Sorry, that's BS. Boo boo. I'm a mother of four. I'm a mother of four kids. Okay, and I used to wake up. And Charlene is on here. She's on the watch party. She will back everything that I'm saying. Because she was one of my first time followers, right? 
I would go wake up in the morning, pop and get in my van, old gold Goldie, yes, and I still got Goldie. She's going strong. She, I'm about to get her transmission fixed, right? Because when he, I'm like my daddy, you know what I'm saying? When you have a car and you know what's wrong with it, you don't change the car. You just, you know, fix it, whatever. You know what I mean? So, hey, God's favor. Welcome. Let me say hello to you guys. Those of you just hopped on. I see y'all. Hey, Trish. Hey, Mary Lee Hines. Thank you for hopping on. Say hello. Let me know where you're watching from so I can shout you out informally. Hey, John Cork, what's tea? So, yeah, I swept up in the morning, hop in my van. I will go live the minute I sat my butt in that driver's seat. Then I would uh, drive to work. Lunchtime came. Boo boo. I was not out there at the water cooler chatting with coworkers or going to lunch with them. I would go in my car and I would go live. When I when I left work at five or eight or whatever time that I had to leave, because even though my hours was nine to five, sometimes I had to stay over. Uh, well, most of the times I had to stay over. I would go live in my car, or on my way out of work. Okay, and then when I got home, I went live again. I went live four times. If y'all go on Periscope right now, I have over a thousand live stream videos on Periscope. And before, when we first started being on Periscope, Periscope, let me tell you how long I've been on Periscope, y'all. Y'all think I'm playing games here. I was on Periscope back when they wasn't even saving our videos. When you go went live on Periscope and you were done, after 24 hours, that video disappeared. Poof. So I have content for day, da, 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 double, triple D days, okay? The, the, the days, yeah. Somebody say days with a Z at the end. I have content for days, honey, boo boo. So I, I ain't new to this. I'm 100% true to this, boo boo. So that's what I was doing. So Charlene, Charlene, you're totally right. You know, you was there when I was working my nine to five. I was hustling like a beast because I didn't know much about Facebook ads. Box wasn't around around that time where I didn't hear much about it. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to utilize what I know. So I would take my cell phone. And I would use one of my dead devices and I would use the Wi-Fi for one device to um, stream off to the next device. So when I did it on Periscope and then when Facebook Live came out, I was live on both Facebook and Periscope at the same time. So really, really, if I went live four times a day, really it's more like eight times a day because <laughs> I did simulcasting. So that, that's what I did. Let me get to you guys' con uh, comments here. Uh, it's the security of steady paycheck. Yes, yes. Bringing it back to Charlene, great point. Bringing it back to my first original comment when I said, is leaving your nine to five a absolute scary feeling and emotion from you for you? And Charlene did make a point where most women feel is that security of that steady paycheck. But you guys know that when you are building a business, there is no cap on how much money you can make. There is no cap. Somebody typed in the comments for me, no cap. There is no cap on how much money you can make. It is endless. So, you know, you know, Charlene, um, you know, I believe you have a business. She's doing the, the eyebrow thing. That's your business, right? Or is that something that, um, that is actually your job? Let me know. Is, is the eyebrow thing your, your business? <clears throat> or is that your job that you go to and that's just a job you work at? Do you own the facility where the eyebrow place is? Because I'm going to be honest with you, sis, if you in fact own that eyebrow salon and, you know, eyebrows is, is big money. Women are always getting their eyebrows done. I need to shoot by your shop, sis. And I'm, I mean to um, talk to you about that. I need to shoot by your, your shop and get my brows done, honey. Yes, it needs to get tweaked out um, and tinted. Yeah, be gentle with me, girl. I'm tender, honey. Hey, Jeanette Brown. Welcome, sis. Uh, yeah, I'm tender. I'm tender eyebrows, honey. But yeah, I mean, if you're, if you're already doing the business, there's tons of women that don't know how to get involved in the business. So you could be the one that teaches them sort of like liaison. And that's what coaching is. It's more of that consulting aspect of that, the fact that there's people out there that don't know where to get started and they need an end. You, 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 you feel me, sis? I hope you guys feel what I'm saying. Yeah. I have a business. Okay, okay. You so the eyebrow thing is your business. Is that do you own that shop? That's what I'm asking you. Hey Patricia, welcome, sis. Let's see. Um, so yeah, so that's something, you know, when you are doing and involved in the aspect of coaching and consulting, people just need to end. And that um oh, so it's home based. Um, give me more details, sis. I thought you had a shop. Maybe I'm Put you at a shop and I saw some whitening 
our thing on Instagram. We got to get clear, honey, because if I see a whole lot of yada, 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 <laughs> we got to get super clear, sis, but I love you, mama. Um, uh, and while you were getting ready, oh, yeah, yeah. Charlie said, while you were getting ready early in the uh, in the morning, a.m., putting on your makeup. Yeah, I used to go live even when I was uh, putting on my makeup. Absolutely. Let's check you guys over here. Those of you who are watching live on my page, uh, let me know where you're watching from so I can shout you out. So let's get into it, guys. The seven things that has helped me leave my nine to five. Number one is I started to get clear. And I spoke a little bit about this that this morning. So I'm going to go more deeper right now. Clarity is so important, right? I, I made a funny like example of getting clear to one of my one of my head coaches inside of my Sales Success Academy program. Um, her name is Shoshana. And I was like, you know, just imagine, so, you know, you're at the hospital and you guys know when the nurses and the doctors are trying to revive someone. Char Charlene, you're in nursing, right? And you've probably seen this. And they're putting together those, that machine to go clear and then they go boosh on the body, right? That's what really, you got to put that analogy or that example, whatever you want to call it, as in your business. Because when the nurse or the doctor yells clear, everybody stops and they focus on the patient. Your number one problem is, is that you have so much chaos going on in your world. I'm talking to everybody, whoever can relate to this. You have so much chaos going on in your world that you can't get clear enough to save someone's life that you're supposed to be helping and transforming. And I don't care if you're selling products. I don't care if you're a coach. I don't care if you're a consultant. There's people in your life, people out there who you need to save. Save from debt. Like my girl Tasha, she just hopped in the room. Woo, woo, hey, Tash. Like my girl Charlene, she's saving women from having those unibrows and those bushy brows and mustaches and beards and all the above, right? There's some girls out there, Charlene. There's some, I saw some girls on Jamaica Ave today, who they look a little bit like Steve Harvey, honey. I was about to ask for an autograph, you know what I'm saying? No shade, no tame. You know, but just saying you save it, you know, we, no matter which business that you're in, ladies, you're saving somebody's life. You're saving, you're that end for them. You're that end, right? So most of us have so much chaos in our world that even when it's time to, we can't get clear. We can't get clear. And some of those times we have to spend in total silence and total, in total quietness and get clear. Today I spent hours doing a lot of back-end stuff in my business. And if you're my client, you obviously you know exactly what I've been doing. But it's like, you know, doing all that stuff, I have to get clear. I have to stop the chaos. Kids have to get out of my office, you know. Mama's here. Mama can watch them, you know. The, uh, the, you know, to getting them to be more independent so they can sort of get things on their own, right? Getting clear, taking out the noise and stop looking and surfing through social media. Like, getting clear. You know what I'm saying? It's just so important. So, you know... When I started to get clear on who, what I was actually doing, it's not so much, we all know who we want to talk to. We all know who we want to help, right? But getting clear on the process of how you want to help them, that's where the gap comes in, ladies. That's when we always fall flat on our face. Because we want to help people get out of credit. We want to help people get better lashes and whiten their teeth. We want to help people lose weight. We want to help, we get that, we, I get that. I got you. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got you. We see each other. You know what I'm saying? I got that. But the process that you're going to get to to go from A to Z, we're, most of us are never going to get there because we're not clear. And another thing, ladies, you're not willing to look like the bad guy sometimes. Can I talk about the bad guy real quick? Somebody tell me, go ahead. And I, and I, and I talk, can, can I talk about, so y'all not willing for people to go through that process, people looking at you, like you're this snobby, attitude -y type of person. Can I talk about that for a minute? Yeah, I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna just talk about that for two seconds for you, with you guys, maybe ten. Because I think this is important. And what, what I'm leading into is your boundaries, your boundaries. You know, I've been uh, home building my business full time for the past two years. Two years, August 11th will make two years, and. It's hard to create for, for the people around you, your family members, your friends, to respect what you're doing. Even though they see that it is, respect, that it is successful, you're going to still get people in your life that are not going to respect it. They think because you're home full time, right, 
That means you're available. You're available to talk on the phone for two hours. You're available to go down the street real quick to the mall to go look at some stupid ass dresses. You're available to just sit out front of your house and talk. No, no. Sometimes, you know, and, it, and I'm telling you, this is a this is an ongoing uh, battle that you're going to deal with in your business. And you got to be the one to say, you know what, I'm willing to look like the bad guy right now so I can continuously build my empire. Because that moment where you're spending time going to the movies or watching two hours, uh, binging on Netflix, you could have probably missed out on $3,000, $5,000, $10,000, tons of clients, tons of followers. It's like every minute of your day counts. So you got to get clear on the fact that you're not always going to be liked by the people who don't really respect what you're doing. And you got to just say, hey, if they get it, they get it. If they don't, they don't. I'm working right now. I'm building my business right now. So right now you're going to have to take the back seat so I can build this empire so that my, I can leave something to my kids. Hey, Ramel, welcome mama. Happy you're on sis. So that's the thing we have to understand is getting clear on our process and getting clear with being okay. We're looking like the bad guy for, for however long a time. It can be forever. I don't care. So that you can continuously build what you're building. Right? So that's so important. So number two was, I started to get committed. I started to get committed. I made the decision back in 2016 that I will not quit this. And that all ties into your why, ladies. Like, for me, a lot of people ask me this question all the time. They say, Letitia, why did you build a business? Why did you build a business? And granted, the most common, typical answer is, I'm building this business for my kids, right? And granted, I'm not, I'm not, okay. I know this is going to sound weird for y'all with y'all, but I'm clear, so clear that I'm okay with you guys looking at me like I'm crazy. I don't know necessarily, I'm not necessarily building my business for my kids because at the end of the day, my kids are my passion. They're my passion. I want to leverage my business to show them that there's multiple ways that you can earn a living without having to work at a nine to five. If you choose so to work at a nine to five, I'm perfectly fine with that. But just please know that there's always other options for you, right? So that's really the whole purpose. It was more of a teaching moment. But for me, the whole solo reason why I'm building my business and will always continue to build my business and will never quit because I work for my 85-year-old self. Any of you guys have that app? I know Facebook has some type of app or whatever that you can take a picture of yourself and then it'll, it'll turn you into your 85, 90-year-old self. When I've done that, it's on my phone. I save it. I look at it on a consistent consistent basis, especially when there's moments where I feel like like saying, oh my God, I'm going to pull my the little bit of hair I have left out. Hey, Lakeisha, welcome, sis. So I look at her all the time and I'm like, you know what? I want to make her happy. I want to make her happy. I want to make her so proud of me. You know, because in the, the day, guys, you see a lot of, you know, older women out there and, you know, they're, they're, you know, ha who have not planned their life appropriately for them to live a life of freedom and not have it depend on anybody, right? So when I think about my 85-year-old self, me wanting to make sure she's happy, make sure she's taken care of, make sure that she has money over money over money so she don't have to live with her children, making sure that she's healthy, that's the biggest thing for me right now. That's why I walk and I work out every single day. I eat healthy and all that other stuff. You know, I want to make sure that she's her best self. And I know I'm talking to, about my 85 year old self as a third person, but I have to position it that way so I can stay committed. There has to be something bigger. You Listen, somebody type in the comments right now, please. I feel like I'm talking to somebody today. Somebody type in domination level of commitment. You have to have a domination level of commitment. Saying that you're doing this for your kids, I'm sorry, boo-boo, that's not enough. Because you say that and the kids get hungry or, they, or you're running out of money, you're going to end up going back to a job, right? Instead of going hauling ass and going all in and working super duper hard to make sure you get yourself out of that ditch, right? That's not enough. So you got to have that domination level of commitment. So when those hard times do come, when you get a lot of no's and you're like, oh my God, I don't know if I should be doing this. Nobody wants my program. Nobody wants to buy my products, whatever, whatever. That's going is going to be what's going to make you go like, I'm ready to go all freaking hard. 
right? That's what I'm doing. Because, you know, you're your family's Martin Luther King. You're your family. You just might be your family's Harriet Tubman. You know what I'm saying? You just might be your family's Oprah Winfrey. Like, hell, hey, Donna, you don't know. You just may be that one that just changed the game, broke every generational curse in your family, and just did it way different. Why? Because your commitment level was so hard. You had a domination level of commitment. You had that Jesus level of commitment. That's how I see myself. I'm not comparing myself to Jesus. I'm not saying I am Jesus. All I'm saying is that I have the Jesus level of commitment. Because I know some people would have said, you know what, God? I'm getting off this cross. It's too much. I feel like every time I wake up and I get on this laptop or when I went live, I have my Jesus level of commitment. I will put my cross up. I will bear all obstacles, all trials, tribulations. Even if there's some days it kills me, I will resurrect myself the next day and keep moving and keep going and keep going so people can look at me and say, wow, look at her. She did it because she had that domination level of commitment. Most of us don't have that. We have that excitement right? Maybe you got excited that you started this business. Maybe you got excited that you had gotten one client or a customer or whatever. That excitement, but excitement don't last, honey. It's almost like an orgasm. I mean, we're all adults here, right? That's how it is. It's just like something like sometimes it's two seconds. Sometimes it is maybe it's 30, but it's that quick. What? Hey, Renee, once it's done, it's done. And you look for the next one, next one. I'm just giving y'all an example of that so y'all can relate to it. You, you feel me? Domination level of commitment. That lasting experience of saying, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going to give up. My why is bigger than anything I can ever imagine. And no matter what, I'm going to keep doing it. So number three, uh, the third reason how I was able to leave my nine to five uh, back on August 11th of 2017 was I was consistent. Charlene is on here. She'll tell you. I was hell. I was, I had a domination level of consistency. Uh, no, I didn't show up live once. No, I didn't show up live twice a day. I showed up live multiple times a day in multiple places. Sometimes, guys, you got to work your business as if it's breathing. You got to work it even when you feel tired. I know everybody says that, but I, I know a lot of people are not doing it. Even when you're like, I don't feel like doing this. Boo-boo, you better pop on a wig and hit that go live button. I got two wigs right here. Okay? All ready to go. All I got to do is shake it up a little bit, pop it on my head. Got another one right here. Okay. Let's go. I got my little lip gloss, my translucent powder. And let's go. Let's do it. Like, don't get to that moment of your life where don't let nothing stop you from being consistent. This is why, this is where your daily habits are going to come in. Right? This is where your structure is going to come in. And those of you do, who do not have a, let me just show you guys something here. Let me grab it. Let me grab it. I just had it here. Maybe one of the kids moved it. Uno momento, guys. I just freaking had it. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to show y'all something that I use in leverage. And I just had it out earlier. And when I find it, I'm going to show it to you guys. Well, y'all feeling what I'm saying? Those of you guys who just hopped on, say hello. Hold on, y'all. Where the heck did I put it? You never know when you had some in your hand. I bet you it's right in front of my damn face. Nope, that's not it. Oh, here we go. I told y'all, right in front of my face. Look at that. Y'all like my curtains? Listen, I got these curtains on Amazon, y'all. Can I, can I do a sideboard real quick? And where's the box for it? I got these curtains on Amazon. These are like black shade curtains. Because when I, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I don't like all the sun in my face. So look how dark it is. Look at that. No sunlight's coming through. Um, it looks like it's nighttime, but it's not. It's like, what, seven something in the afternoon? These are the best. If y'all want the, uh, the information to grab these, and I'm not an affiliate of it, just let me know and I'll send it to you. It's in, this is purple, but it comes in all colors. I love these blinds for that. Uh, oh, no worries, Charlene. I'll catch you soon, mama. Just make sure you pass this on before you leave. All right? So uh, what I use every day to stay consistent is I leverage my, my mentor, Ron Swan. 
her um, six-figure brand strategy where this is like her diary. So if you want to make seven figures, sorry, this is our seven-figure brand strategy. If you want to make seven figures, you got to know what seven-figure people are doing. So she actually created a whole journal of everything she does every single day to um, to keep herself super duper hella productive. Like you guys know this is my freaking sticky notes in here. I mean, everything, all the way down from her diagram. She have um, downloadable uh, link information in here so you can download it onto your computer who wants the digital copy of this type in me if you want the digital copy of this actual book here because i had to sorry about that guys i had to travel all the way to bali to grab this book like you have to actually come to an event to get the actual hard copy but if you want a digital copy of this entire book where you can print it out and what's awesome about the digital copy that is a, better than the actual hand, the hard copy is that there's hyperlinks in here. So when you get the digital copy, let me just show you guys what I'm talking about. When you have the digital copy, you see how there's hyperlinks? These are all hyperlinks. So when you get the digital copy, you're able to click that. The 21 day plan outline, Facebook video structure, Facebook live video structure. You get to click that on the digital copy and actually download, same thing here. You actually get to download this, all the little form examples that she has in here. I love how she laid this out because it gives you an idea of what it is that you're supposed to be doing each and every single day. And some pages have up to four uh, digital copy downloads. Oh, look, Keisha, all you have to do is go to camelsuccessnetwork.com and join our 30K and 30 day challenge. It's only like, it's less than $100 to get inside the challenge. You get this as a bonus. You get the whole freaking challenge, sis. And the challenge starts on Monday. So I encourage you to get inside. Go to campbellsuccessnetwork.com. You're going to get the digital copy of this here. You're going to also get the digital copy of her skills are che is cheap, passion is priceless. The digital copy of this, she actually relaunched this. This was an Amazon bestseller. And same thing. Everything she puts in her, her, her digital copies, she just gives away everything. Nobody does that, y'all. Nobody does that. I mean, I'm going to keep flipping the pages here. I mean, it's the full, she actually gives you this complete funnel. Like you see, this is her funnel process or how she, you get it, you get a, a lead and you take them through a funnel process and then it leads to your offer. Okay. And you actually get the complete funnel for this. John Cord is on here. John teaches uh, messenger bots inside of the, um, the challenge and everything. This is why I love this. Cause let me tell you guys something. That I'm a, I'm an ABC type of girl, okay? Let me tell y'all, I'm a, I'm I'm a get to the point type of girl. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm from New York, and I hate when people come when I'm in other states. Like no shade, no tea. But when I'm in other states and people are trying to pitch something to me, I'm like get to the point. How much? What do I need to do to get it? You know what I'm saying? Like so when I am hiring a mentor, or even buying a digital product. I want you to get to the point. To show me A, B, and C. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't give me this whole uh, uh, epiphany moment and, and open loop. And I don't want to hear all that. I got stuff to do. I got four kids. You know what I'm saying? After this, I got I to gotta make sure the kids eat. And then I got to hurry up and put them in bed. And then I got to hop on in a meeting. You know what I'm saying? Like, get to the damn point. So that's why I like this because it don't matter which where you start at, you choose which day you want to start. You know, you start from day one to day to day thirty. This is it's day one to day thirty. And again, guys, you get the digital, you get the digital book. Another thing you guys get uh, for for our thirty k and thirty day challenge is you get my live stream blueprint. Uh, wait, wait, pause, y'all. Woo! Somebody say, "Wow, you're gonna get my live stream blueprint." Okay which actually gives you the full structure when you go live. Cause I told you guys, I've been going live for a while now. This Periscope, yes. Why am I look ashy today? Okay. Um, you get that and you get my five C's of live stream. Okay. You get my training on that. I actually want to throw that in there for all of you guys who grabs and get and joins us for our August cycle of our 30K and 30 challenge. And you get this digital copy of this and whoop, skills of cheap passion is prices. And you get some other stuff in there too. You guys just have to go to the page. I can't remember all the bonuses we're giving to you guys. And it's under a hundred bucks, y'all. Like really, it's under a hundred dollars. So again, I got consistent because I leveraged uh, processes. All right. I was not a training type of girl. I leveraged 
The only way you're going to make money is knowing processes. Somebody type in the word process. You got to know a process. You don't know how to, pro if I, you know, my father, before MapQuest was around and Google Map was around, I'm sorry, y'all, I got to uh, dim this light a little bit because I'm looking kind of ashy. I don't like that. Um, <laughs> you, you know, my father, you know, he, uh, before MapQuest came around and all these other stuff to get you to your destination, he went to the 7-Eleven and he would get maps. And he would sit there, and we had to drive one time from New York to North Carolina, no, New York to Virginia, and he just took a map. And that's how I learned, really. I'm, a, I'm, I'm old school. I'm more of a process thinker, more than me having to have all this analytical stuff of why things are this way or why you should, like, just show me A, B to C. If I mess up at one point, I just repeat the process until I get it, right? That's what I do. So yeah, number number three, number four was you got. I what really has helped me in, to leave my nine to five was I got comfortable with change. Because when you are building a business, ladies, there's going to be a lot of changes that's going to happen in you, and there's going to be a lot of changes that's going to happen in the people around you. You're going to start to realize the real people who are for you and the real people who are not for you. You're going to get so super duper aware. And it may hurt some of y'all feelings, y'all. I'm going to be honest. It's going to hurt so fast. It's going to be like somebody stabs you in the chest. So be ready for it. Be ready for it. It's not like those stories y'all hear on, on, on these Facebook ads of all this, oh, I'm on the beach. and No. No. It's not like that. Somebody say it's not like that. The real reality of you being a female entrepreneur is that while you're building a business, know that you're not going to get more help in your personal life. No, there's not going to be people that's going to be jumping up and say, oh, no worries. I'll cook dinner. I'll clean up. I'll bathe the kids. I'll take them to school. I just, you're, not, you're still going to, while you're building a six or seven figure business, you're still going to have to get out there and still manage the workload and the demand of being a mom. And there's going to be some days that you're going to get crazy. You're going to beg, plead, plead murmur, and complain for help. And you might not get the type of help that you want. Right? I've gotten comments like, well, you asked for this. I've gotten comments like, well, maybe you should do something else. You know what I'm saying? Like, so all these comments you're getting, and you can't be shocked at that. Somebody type in, I will not be shocked. Don't get shocked at that. Know that that's the reality, and know that you have to alter and change the woman you are and start creating processes in your business and also in your day. Like, in this, in this book here, guys, and again, you get the, I've written all of mine. You get the digital copy. I mean, it's all the way down to getting real and mastering your wake up routines. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your daily rituals that you need to establish. Like if you want to be an entrepreneur, you got to start getting more healthier. If you want to be a six and seven figure earner, you got to start eating right. You got to start working out. You got to start doing all these things. I mean, you guys see me leveling up. I'm working out all the time. I have to, to, to let out that, that, that energy, that aggression, the, the, the everything, you know, and it, it makes you more of a healthier coach for your clients. Every coach out there that you see right now, that they always got an attitude. They'll snap on you while you're in class. Those are, you, if you look at them, they're not living healthy lives. I'm just going to be honest. And granted, there are probably some ones that are healthy that are doing the same thing, but more, most of them who are not healthy, who are not living healthy lifestyles, they don't have the best programs. Maybe they have a great sales page, a great, great lead magnet, a great website. But when you get inside, you're like, dang, I didn't learn nothing. I didn't gain nothing. I didn't get no value, right? That's what I'm talking about, you ladies. Like you've got to understand that if you want to be successful in this business, you got to understand that health and wellness is important. You deserve to get massages uh, once or twice a month. You deserve to get your nails and your feet done. Like all these things, instead of you saying you want, now you're going to say this is a necessity. You deserve to walk in the park for an hour or so, for work, walk every day for three miles. Like those are the things that you deserve so that you can get in front of your computer and just give your all and be your best self. Right? Uh, number five was, I had to have courage. I had to have courage, y'all. Building a business, you got to have courage. Because you, as a black woman, 
And there's not a lot of us in this game that are doing this as hard as I am or as hard as many of the other African-American women are doing it. You got to have courage because there's going to be times when you're going to walk in the room and you're going to be the only woman of color in the room. And you got to have confidence and you have to know that you belong in that room. That's what I had to do. I didn't just say, wow, I'm so thankful to be here. I had to turn around and say, I belong here. I belong here. I, be I, I accept and, and, and take in this opportunity as something that I deserve, worked hard for, and, 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 and only was meant for myself. And all the other late women of color are going to come after you, and they're going to say the same thing. I belong here. There's always a time to be thankful. And there's a time where you got to throw that thankful hat out the window because then when you have that thankful hat on, guys, you know what I'm talking about. You feel a little bit like oh, timid and, you know, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to stand out. You don't want to get, get in front of people and connect with them and say, hey, who you are, what you do to start networking. You just feel very like, oh, mellow. But when you say, I, I, I deserve to be here, I belong here, every conversation you have is a totally courageous level of a conversation trust me on this ladies have courage number six is you got to be confident you got to be confident or if there are days where you don't feel confident you have to tap into your inner self to say well what does confidence feel like right when i first was asked uh last year by my mentor to speak uh for the first time in bali indonesia you know i was like Ooh, I'm nervous. I, I've never spoken it was in front of that type of audience before. And I had to have confidence. I had to own that opportunity and say, you know what? I work for this. This is all was ordained and made by God. And I'm going to dominate this opportunity. There's people that need my help. So you have to have confidence, ladies, even when you're, the feeling of the spirit of confidence is not in you in that moment. There's no such thing, ladies. And I know this may sound strange. I don't believe that there's a such thing as a confident woman. I don't believe that. I believe that you have to turn on that confidence. I believe confidence is something either you want to wear it or you're not going to wear it. Either you want to step in a room and, and have it or you're not. It's almost like having all your, your, your supplies and your homework and your textbooks before you go to school. Either you're going to have it or you, either you want to use it or you're not going to use it. Because I've seen a lot of pretty women out there and they have the lowest self-esteem, the lowest confidence. Don't, don't be fooled by a lot of people who maybe perceive that they know what they're doing and they have a lot of confidence, they're courageous. And when it boils down to it, they're not. Right? They have the most lowest self-esteem. They're in horrible relationships. They're not taking care of themselves. They're not, doing, they're not living with integrity. It's all these things that comes up. So you got to turn it on, the confidence on, even when there's days that you're like, oh my God, I don't, I don't know if I have it. You got to turn it on. You have to ask yourself, who do I need to become in order to get what I want? What, what personality or feelings or emotions and start watching people that emulate that. Type in the comments right now, ladies, who do you have right now that you look up to? Like if this person was in the room with you, you would sit next to that person and feel like, oh my God, I just have a whole nother domination level of confidence. I'm going to tell you who's mine, Michelle Obama. If Michelle Obama was on this show right now, I wouldn't be like, hoo, hoo. I'd be like, yo, girl, you know what I'm saying? Like, who did you hear? Like, I know they be pressing your edges, girl. Because Michelle, her edges be like, Hoo. you ever had the hot comb, honey? Y'all know what I'm talking about? Look, the little hot comb, like, her head just be like, Hoo. you know, your mom put a little bit. Your mom put a little bit, put a, put a little bit of that, you know, the, 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 the green grease or the black, not the black grease, the green grease or the blue grease. She'll put a little bit of that on your edges and then she'll take that hot comb. Of, I'm not talking about the electric hot comb, y'all. I'm talking about the hot comb that she had to put on the stove. That's the one I'm talking about. That little electric hot comb, that does not get as hot as that hot comb that mama used to put on the stove and my mother used to get like these little bit of hairs right here. She's like, like, I wish I had a comb right here so I can give y'all an example. Where is my comb at? Hold on, I gotta give me, I gotta, I gotta bring y'all back. Y'all think I'm playing up in here, okay? Where is my comb at? Oh, like, you know, I'm gonna use this as an example. You know, a little hot comb, she got, man, just imagine, this was burning hot, 560 degrees, 
and try to catch his look in the heat, the heat from the cold. Get, ah! And don't you move. Don't you move. Don't you come on, Lakeisha. You know, what I, don't you move. Okay. So you better just stay there and take it, honey. Okay. And Lakeisha, Michelle got them edges, honey, that like she's been blessed by the hot comb with either the blue or the green grease, honey. Hey, Sheila, how are you? So uh, <laughs> you got to have confidence to really be like, you know what? I'm just going to do this. Lakeisha said, I agree with what you're saying. What is that you are doing? What is it that you are doing? No, I'm so sorry, but every time I try to catch on to see you, I'm working. Oh, no worries, Lakeisha. So what I do, Lakeisha, is that I am a sales success strategist. And here's why having a sales success strategist is so important. You know, when you're building a business, you have to know what process you need to take, your unique process you need to take to sell whatever product or service that you're offering. So I'm going to give you an example. A lot of women start businesses. They get a website, they get a funnel, they get a logo, they get everything nice and pretty, but you're not relevant until you know how to sell what your offer is. Get that magnetic attraction and build those automated sales processes in your system, in your, in your business that allows you to scale. So I do that for my clients every single day. It don't matter if you're a product-based business or a service-based business. If you want to know how to sell your, sell your products or service and scale it, make it profitable. Okay, not not building a business so you can pay the light bill, the gas bill. Actually, build a business where you're building an empire. Okay, we have I have done for you services. I have weekly coaching programs. I have my challenge. I encourage all of you guys who are not really familiar with my program and what I do. Get inside of my 30K in 30 day challenge. Grab that. It's under a hundred dollars. And we, what happens is you get daily videos, you get inside our groups, we do weekly coaching calls. It's an amazing challenge to be a part of because we give you everything and more for you to make 30K in 30 days. We give you our best work and we do that to prove a point because having your unique sales process in your business is so important, okay? I believe that before you really know whether or not you are whether you have a brand is when you know how to sell what it is that you're offering. So that's what I do. And I just love doing it. I have over 15 years experience in sales. I worked in sales management all the way out in, in Manhattan. I've done network marketing. I've done it all. And I've been very, 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 very successful at it. But my biggest problem in the past was that I wasn't monetizing what I know. I was giving everything that I know for free. Free 99, it wasn't until 2016 that I decided to launch my Sales Success Academy and make it what it is now. And now I'm the head coach of the Sexy Brand Building Formula, where we do your PR and media service, complete done for you package. But yeah, go to campusuccessnetwork.com, Lakeisha, and I would love to get you inside the challenge. I encourage you for that. I really encourage that to be your first entry point inside my world so you can see John, see Rhonda, see Starwin, see Kim Barrett. I mean, see all of us that are willing to help you uh, for your future success. So get inside there, mama. It's totally awesome. So. Uh, thank you so much for asking me that. And guys, ask away. Ask away, right? Because that's a good thing. Sometimes we watch people and we're like, well, what did she do? <laughs> what is it that she do? Right? So, um, yeah, definitely check it out, Lakeisha. And I'll send you an inbox message after I'll have my assistant, Therese. Therese, if you're on here, if you can hop onto the watch party, it's Lakeisha Wilson. Just send her my information. All right. So, number six. I'm sorry, number seven. Guys, give me some of your, your, your emotions. Like those of you who are like, listen, I want to leave my nine to five, but I don't know how to do this. Put it in the comments right now. Put it in the comments right now. Like I want to leave this opportunity um, since we're going to close out right now for an opportunity for you to, to let me know what are your gaps. Like you want to, you want to leave your five, nine to five, but you need help with this because we all need help, guys. We do. We all need help on something. We all need help on something. So my seventh way that I was able to leave my nine to five is I started to collaborate. And this is what those of you who get inside of our 30K and 30 day challenge, I'm going to actually give you guys my five season live streaming. And that's one of the parts of that uh, um, 
of that uh, resource is that collaborations. Collaborations, guys, is so important that you are able to know how to link up and work with other women in order to reach a common agenda. Because not all collaborations are good. Not all partnerships are good. Not all JVs are good. You got to know through time what is going to work and what is not going to work. But I collaborated. Y'all go all the way into my timeline. I've done summits with my clients. I, I mean, I'm talking about we had a full screen of like uh, 12 to 20 ladies just talking about one particular topic. And I collaborate in a domination way because we, you cannot make it to the top by yourself. You cannot make it to the top by yourself. Yeah, Lakeisha, you know, I believe that making that micro investment, because, you know, that's a common obstacle for most women, which is financing or what have you, you know, but getting inside on that lower level so that you can get in and actually see and actually start building revenue off the information that you are going to learn. Because I promise and I guarantee this is my seal to the kiss promise is that you're going to build a business when you get inside 30k and 30 challenge you get what i'm saying like that's that's what's going to happen because we give you everything we give you absolutely everything all to prove a point that you can absolutely monetize on whatever you're doing whether you're a product-based company or whether you're a service-based company you guys should monetize and the reason another point that we want to pick uh say is that if you pick up daily habits daily habits every single day a lot of people don't know what did what to do to get successful that's where i was back in what 2015 i didn't know what to do to get successful i needed somebody to tell me what am i supposed to do i get it what certain things that i need but a need and doing is different what do i need to do in order to get what i need and this will give you that opportunity to know what to do this digital asset alone right here you know if you don't take anything else from the program because you actually keep the digital asset forever the digital copy of this book forever if you don't really know what to do then you're not going to be successful. And the fact that this is such a rinse and repeat process, the minute that you're done, it goes from day one to day 30. Uh, when you're done, at the, when you're on day 30, you go right back to day one. Hello? It's that rinse and repeat. Thank you so much, Trees. Love you, mama. It's that rinse and repeat process. And that's what you need in your business. The 21-day plan is rinse and repeat. You know, the live stream structure is a rinse and repeat. My live stream blueprint is a rinse and repeat. Your launch structure is a rinse and repeat. Every single thing is a rinse and repeat, and we swear by it. We swear by it. I mean, you know, I feel like, you know, even nowadays, a lot of coaches, they are offering, you know, these challenges just to get people inside as in to see the possibilities of what can happen in their businesses. And that's why it's so important. A lot of times when you, uh, uh, a lot of people who, when you're doing the high ticket, which is great for the more higher ticket clients, but when you do have a higher ticket, a lot of the people who are just getting started, they don't see the possibilities. But if you just give them an in, say, hey, get inside this challenge. If you do exactly what we're going to teach you every single day to the T, if you show up to class, hello, right, Therese? If you show up to class and be present, right, ask questions. We, you know, we call it keep your needle moving. And guys, if you want to get inside of our 30K and 30 day challenge, go to campbellsuccessnetwork.com. It's the second button. If you're present, if, if you're doing the process, if you're present during the process and you're asking questions whenever you're hitting a wall, you're going to win. We have one client. Her name is Maya. She's now the founder of Fundraiser Secrets. Go look her up on Facebook. She had, she did a live where she got over 15,000 views and Therese, Therese, back me up here. She was there. We did a class last week and she said, if y'all don't believe me, here's, she, she turned her phone around and she showed us. She's like, I got 15.7 thousand views on her broadcast all because she leveraged our 30K and 30 day challenge. That's phenomenal. We have tons of success stories, guys. You just go to CamelSuccessNetwork.com and you'll see it because our stuff works. If you just tweak out just a little bit what you're doing, it's going to change your life. It's going to change your world. And, you know, that's what changed my business more than anything. What really, and, and to answer my own personal question, 
when I when I was asked what do you need Letitia to get ahead, my answer was automation. I needed the automation. When I got that, it changed my business overnight. I started to turn my 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 weekly revenue from going from you know making less than a thousand to now making four figures a week, and that's what I did. And I have clients now that are not that, that are doing their businesses full time. And it's amazing when I'm talking to a client and it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. Like, that's weird. Like, for real. Like, normally when I was working my nine to five, my phone would be on silent. Like, people knew not to call me from nine to five or whatever, right? But to have a conversation with a client in the afternoon or early in the morning, you're like, hey, sis, like last night I had a conversation with one of my clients, Nita. And I was like, hey, sis, you know, how, how, we was talking about, um, what times are is she going live versus what times I'm going live and which, which are starting to get more, more views. And uh, we're doing some tests right now with that. But uh, it was awesome. Hey, Alita's in the room. Hey, Alita, we're just talking about you, sis. Alita, if you want to come on the screen, boo, let me know, boo, and I will add you on the screen. Okay. Oh, what time? Oh, I got to go to a meeting. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to <laughs> Never mind, Alita. We, I got to do a meeting real quick. Sorry, y'all. But anyway, guys, look. My, look, my timer went off structure, guys. Look at me, because I know I could ramble. I meant to only do this live for 30 minutes, but I went a little bit over. But I hope you guys got a lot of value. So you got to have those structures, those cues. All right, y'all. I have to hop off. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys have any suggestions of what you want me to talk about tomorrow, please put it right down here and I would definitely discuss it. Those of you who want to learn more about my programs, definitely inbox me right here on Facebook. If you're watching me on my podcast, head on over to campbellsuccessnetwork.com. If you're watching this on YouTube, go right down below to the description and all my information is there. And I look forward to working with every one of you. And as always, don't forget, get out there and dominate because it's time to design a life that you deserve. Till next time. Bye guys.